Ooh. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Forza Horizon 4. We'll spin drag build video time. That's that's what's happening in today's video. So if you're new, subscribe helps a lot. And uh, if you're not new, then welcome back to a brand new video. You guys know the drill. This will be the final video on the wheel spin drag builds on Forza Horizon 4. Sad, sad day. Very, very sad day. But, obviously, uh, Horizon 5 is out in a couple days. And, uh, you know, obviously we're going to be swapping over to that game. So I'm going to be playing a lot of that. But on Horizon 4, for now, the drag builds, the drift builds, whatever, all the rest of the videos are pretty much over. Uh, I'll probably revisit this game in about a year's time or whatever. But, uh, obviously, once we upgrade to the new game... Yes, once we upgrade to the new game, hopefully. Um, yeah, it should uh, it should continue some of the series. Or I should continue some of the series over there. And then, you know, we'll have some good stuff. Anyway, um, wheel spin drag build. So that means that I have to spin the wheel spins. And whatever car I get, I have to use. And then I'll spin them again and see what budget I get. Let's try the normal wheel spins for today's video. Because in the last few videos, I've been doing sort of super wheel spins. And they'd be kind of fun because, you know, of all the... Random and weird cars that we usually get. R32 would be kind of nice. R32 would be kind of nice, actually. I do remember I built one of these as a drift build, but I don't think I've ever built one of these as a drag build. So one of these would be kind of nice. I like the Mark IV R32. A lot. I've always liked it. Give me some good money here to spend on it. This could be good. By the way, if I get a car, I, I'll just have to sell it. 34,500. So 34.5. I need to remember that. Can I just like put it down somewhere? I'm gonna put it on my phone. <laughs> just so I don't forget, because there's so many times where I just like Okay. Let's go to the calculator app. We'll do 34,500. Um there's so many times where I just forget what uh, what amount of money I get in the wheel spins, and I just go and I test the car out completely stock, and it's like, yeah, 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 cool. Uh, and then I have to completely stop the video and go and uh, <laughs> go and try. Ooh, I already have one of these like slightly modified. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I stopped the video and then I go back into the recording and just to see how much money I actually end up spending. But this is our R32. I've always liked these. Always, always love the R32. Um, I'm going to go to custom events just because I want to get this thing in the summer. I have one of these blueprints built. Because um, I want the track to be as dry as possible for when I do my runs. I don't want to do them on a wet track. Um, I don't want any puddles or anything to slow me down, nor do I want the the wheels to like wheel spin pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Anyway, let's uh, let's hit this. Uh, for some reason, this is the American version of the R32. Um, you can see it by the side markers and stuff like that. But this is the American R32. For some reason, they decided to put it in the in this game <laughs> instead of them updating or changing the actual model of the car. They decided to keep the same model for I don't know how many years. Now, I really do wish that they would have changed it. But obviously with the new one in Mexico, I feel like all the little side markers and everything should be fine. Alright, let's just have a look and see what sort of time I actually squeeze out with this. 14.020. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any better. I feel like this is very close. Like, it's just... I'm just gonna, I'll do one more. Why not? Just to be 100% sure. But around 14 dead is pretty much what this thing is, uh, is probably going to get every single time. Not a lot of wheel spin or anything like that. I try to change gear at the same revs every time. So around 7172, somewhere around there. Should be uh should be pretty much the same. Ooh, th just under 14. So 13997. That's fine. That is completely fine. All right, now we have uh, 34.5. Is that is that the right amount? I, I leveled up, so I got another wheel spin. Don't need that. Um, 34.5 to build this thing. Let's uh, let's get it to be faster. I don't know what exactly I can possibly do with this thing to get it to be faster with 34 grand. Uh, obviously, everything's quite expensive in this game, so. I love the way this sounds, though. Oh, God. Good luck. Yeah, I like the way this thing sounds. Always did. Where's the dials for the R32Y? I don't think that's right, is it? Am I wrong in saying that the R... That, well, I know that the Mark IV dials were blue. 
I had a Mark IV. Um, yeah, weird. Forza I thought they were blue. Will begin soon. I don't care, Anna. Shut up. Please. Alright, we need... What was it? 34-5. Now I have this stupid blimp above me, so now you guys can, can hear that the entire time. I kind of just turbo it, to be honest. Twin turbo R32s are always a, a big thing. And uh, they made, like, a stupid amount of power. They, they usually put around, like, 500 horsepower. Uh, down HGP, I think, was uh, was one of the big uh, big tuners. They still are, right now, a big tuner. And HGP, I'm pretty sure they make, like, the fa like some of the fastest golfs. Uh, obviously, in America, I think we had, like, Unitronic or something like that. Or Canada had HBA. Yeah, there's a bunch of different tuners for these. Yes, I do know my way around these, these Mark IVs. I, I do know all the tuners and everything um, for some of these. Do I want to give it better tires? Um, probably. I don't think it'll deserve to have uh, drag radials because I don't think we'll be able to get this thing to be that fast with uh, with 34 grand. Uh, I'm down to just like give it wider tires or... Uh, you know what? Let's just have a look. Let's just see what I can do with this thing. First of all, it changes gears incredibly slowly, so let's change that quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to do that, because that is going to help us quite a lot. Uh, I think a bunch of the power is going to the front wheels, so I think if I get a diff, this should definitely help me with the... Uh, I'll get this one, because it unlocks acceleration. Wait, 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 wait. No, because it's all-wheel drive, I don't think I'm actually able to do... Let's just do that. I'll do that. Why not? Um, because it's all-wheel drive, I don't think it'll let me do much with that. 2,350 for this, and it'll... Bring my weight down by quite a bit, actually. 264 kilos. Okay. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. Um, I guess the rest. Now, I'm just going to upgrade everything that I know for a fact is going to give me more power. So. I mean. Yeah. There's 477 horsepower. I think. I think I can probably get some good tires as well out of this. And still be able to upgrade it. So we got drag radials. I can keep these the standard size. I'm pretty sure they're 225. Yeah, I was just about to say 225s all around. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't really know if I need to do anything else except for just add more power to this thing. Upgrade pistons. We can do uh, the block. So 34.5 is pretty much the, the, the main bit here. I think I'm pretty much done right now. I don't really have anything else to buy on this thing. I can't even change track width or anything like that. So... I think we're, we're probably good with 34,050 credits. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's keep it like this. I did actually upgrade this quite a bit, actually. Oh, 525 horsepower. I told you. It goes, it gets up to the 500 so so easily with the twin turbo upgrade. And it only weighs 1,218 kilos. This should be good. This should be much faster than before. Especially with the drag tires. The drag tires are definitely going to help. Um, but yeah, the all drive system, yeah, I knew it was like almost fully 50-50, so we need to get this thing to be as fast as possible. I think around 65% to 70% of the power goes, I'll, well, do 69 because haha, funny number. Um, and then I'm just going to do this. And I think from there, uh, obviously I can't, you know, adjust springs or anything like that because I, I didn't buy any. But the, the transmission setup is going to be kind of important for us. To get it to accelerate as fast as possible. Um, our tire pressure as well. I'm just going to do this now while we're here. Help us grip off the line as quick as possible. And then, like I said, the transmission is probably the only... La the last thing that I really have to, you know, tune and upgrade on this thing. Which I think, obviously, I'll have to do in, like, in my own time. But you have it's actually not even that bad. It, it launches pretty well. It definitely changes gears a lot quicker than before. Okay, this should be much quicker now. Than what it was like before. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to change my... My transmi tra transmission setup. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to change that because... Right now, it launches really well. It grips up really, really well, so... Yeah. I'm going to try to mess around with my transmission setup. After this, with all my gears. But... Uh, let's just do one run and see what we get. Let's just see what, how this launches. It launches really well. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this thing to be much faster than, than what it's going to be at right now. 
even up to fourth gear as well. Fourth, like just all four gears. Ten point three two zero. Okay, I'm gonna try a few tunes for the transmission. See if I can get it to be faster. If I can't get it to be faster, then that's probably it. Um, but it does a really good job at, at launching off the line without any wheel spin or anything like that, and it grips up pretty well. So, yeah, I'm gonna mess with a couple things, and I'll be right back. That is the fastest one I've gotten so far, and I think I'm going to leave it there. I've tweaked and tweaked and tweaked continuously until I got to this point, so 10.255 is the fastest that I've gotten. Let's see how consistent it is. We'll do one more run here with this thing. Gear change. Eh, short shift the second to third. This is probably going to be slower, but I'm not 100% sure. I did short shift, though. Slightly. 286 yeah it was a little slower um yeah i just need to shift just as soon as it hits the red uh the red line just as soon as it gets to, to that red bit that's too late as soon as it gets into the red part i have to shift that was just i think a, a little bit too late but i think that was still decent because i saw the way it accelerated yeah yeah, not, not not fantastic. Because once it hits off the limiter and then I change gear, it changes gear really, really slowly. So, uh, I think this manual clutch could be kind of good. Uh, but I didn't tune it for that, obviously. That's first and second missed. It's too short. Yeah, it's uh, it's just annoying. Because you have to be really, really consistent with it. Or you have to be like very, very precise with it to be very consistent. 273. So yeah, 255 is the fastest with some... Some of the best shifts, but um, I guess that's it for the golf. Let's move on to one more build because I usually do two of these per video. So I spin the wheel spin one final time and see what I get. Come on, be something good. I'm just gonna skip it. An S14, yes, 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 definitely yes. Uh, add that to my garage. Wow, okay. Give me some good money here. If I get a lot of money, this would be so much fun. Come on. That's not a lot of money. That's... <laughs> okay, collect prize. But an S14. A car that is not really, you know... Um, I guess, related to drifting at all. Or, sorry, 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 sorry. Not to drifting, but to, to drag racing at all. Um... This is it. It's exactly at C class. 217 horsepower, 275 newton meters of torque. It's very light, but. Okay. I feel like this would have had a lot of potential if I just maxed this thing out. I'm gonna keep this rear wheel drive as well. This is gonna be dumb. This drag build is gonna be very stupid. I'm pretty sure. I have to put drag tires on this thing. I literally have to. If I'm gonna keep this rear wheel drive, which I will, because I think if I edge or if I drive try and swap it, it's gonna be incredibly expensive. So I I, I kind of want to keep it rear wheel drive. I like the Sylvia S14 though. Very cool car. Both the Zanki and the Kuki. I I like both of them. Okay, let's just go for it. Let's see what sort of time I can get with this thing. 270 miles per. Okay, tons of wheel spin. Like, actually, tons of it. It was 14 seconds. Oh, okay, I was about to say it was 14 seconds for the R32, but this is just so much slower. 14.659. <laughs> we have less money to upgrade this thing. I don't think we'll be able to get this thing to be any faster. I'm gonna try and, like, maybe short shift or something. Or at least, like,. Yeah, I was gonna say, at least I control my throttle, instead of just like flooring it. This should be significantly quicker now, I think, but it looks of things anyway. It's still slower, it was, but it's 14.5 instead of 14.6. Barely. 
Barely, 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 barely. Okay, um, let's start upgrading. 35k to get this thing to be a lot faster. I'm going to keep it, like I said, rear wheel drive. Uh, which means that I need to mess with a lot of things to be able to get this thing to grip up properly. So drag tires being one of the, the main things with this car. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to... I'm literally just trying to think now what, what the best possible mods for this thing would be. So I think where it loses the most time is at launch with this thing being rear wheel drive and has terrible terrible tires i mean they're so skinny as well so 10k to upgrade these but it brings it all the way from c600 to b672 and our grip especially our launch goes up a significant amount our acceleration goes up a significant amount because of it as well i'm putting that on i have to i have to um, tire width, maybe I can just leave that the way it is. Uh, as for engine swaps... Uh... I could just put the LS in it. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. Um... Alright. Well, I have to either put the BMW engine in it or upgrade this engine. How much will it cost if I just upgrade this engine here? That I have. Let's do the big the big things first. So the turbo, which adds an extra 100 horsepower. The cams, which adds an extra 83 horsepower. It's now at 400 horsepower. If we can get this anywhere near the Golf, right? Also changes gears incredibly slowly, so I might need to do a little bit of adjustment there. I'm pretty sure this also has an open diff. So if I want to fix that, I need to add that. Um, I don't know if this has a limited slip diff. I generally don't know, but I added that anyway. Uh, clutch, I really want to add a clutch onto this thing because it's so slow. Um, fully customizable transmission, I need to do that because I think it'll help me a lot. We're trying to get this thing's power down. Suspension is quite soft, so I don't really know if I should be adding, uh, you know, any sort of suspension upgrades to this thing. I feel like it absorbs... It doesn't have that much power for me to, like, you know, do anything to it. If I can, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm trying to think. I still have a lot of money to go. I'm doing it. I am doing it. Uh, what's tire width like? For the rear tires to get 265s on them. Because I was gonna, I was gonna say, I feel like it's still going to slip a lot. An extra 47 horsepower with this. And I'm pretty much done. Okay, this should be a very good competitor to the Golf, actually. 448 horsepower and 1,000 kilos. The reason why I'm saying that is because it's really, really lightweight. Okay, this, this should be interesting, actually. Now, comparing this to the Golf. Should be very, very interesting. Again, yeah, it's 53%. Yeah, that's a, that's a terrible, terrible diff. Um, okay. Get rid of all camber. All of it. Uh, Anti-roll bars. I need to change all this stuff here as well. Let's just do a run with it. Let's just... I'll, I'm leave, gonna leave it like that. We'll do a run with it and see what sort of time I can get. And then I'll obviously, you know, start tuning it and figure out where. Okay, so launching this thing now. I don't have any slip, which is great. It's quick. It's much quicker than before. Okay. God, it sounds terrible. <laughs> it's, it actually sounds so bad. It sounds really, really bad. Okay, cool. Let's let's just do stuff. Let's uh, let's actually do one full run here with this thing like this. I feel like launching this thing right now is going to be kind of bad without the whole transmission change because it's uh it's just gonna bog down immediately from what i've noticed so far anyway i feel like i'm just gonna floor it it's gonna bog down and then randomly catch a bit of grip and then just drive off then afterwards but hit limiter there unfortunately okay so limiter is a lot closer to exactly where red line is so i need to change gears uh exactly when it hits eight from what I've noticed. This is fine. I'm testing. Yeah. 
definitely need to do something about that gearbox and those uh, and those gears. Eleven seconds. Eleven point zero ninety. Ooh. Okay. Close. 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 Okay. I'm gonna start messing around with this thing. I'll be right back. Ten point seven eight four. That's not terrible. That is actually not terrible. Um, uno más, uno más. Come on. I uh, hit limiter as I changed gear. I had to do it just a split second earlier. Come on. Let's try perfect this. That's good. That's maybe a tiny bit early. This should be fine, I think. Yeah, I can't really tell. 799. Yes and no. I did get faster. I think 7... 7.8 something is the fastest that I've gotten. Okay, this one could be good. This one could be the one. Maybe. 767. Seven. That is the fastest one I've done so far. Yeah, that was some good shifting. It's still... It's hard to be, like, so precise every single time to do it. Um, but, yeah. Let's do one final run with this thing. But that is... That is the fastest one that I've done so far. The 767. Seven. I think this one could be very similar. Maybe a little bit slower. Tiny bit slower, I think. Yeah, 802. Okay, well, that's it for the S14. It did a good job. I'm happy with it. I actually don't remember what the time for the Golf was, so I can compare both of these, but... I'm happy with both of these cars. It was a good, uh... It was a good send-off. It was something different, you know, which ma makes it kind of, kind of cool to get, like... Something like this car, for example, to make it uh, into a drag build. Which I know not a lot of people do, but I do know that there are some very, very fast S14s in the world. Um, for uh, for drag racing, but I guess that's pretty much it. I guess this drift car that I turned into a, a, a drag build uh, managed to do a decent job. Well, like I said before, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment, share, do whatever it is you guys want to do. But for now, that's it. I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.